Hey guys, I'm Miss Optic, and today I'm going to take you through significant figures. So when we're talking about significant figures, we kind of use the same process as when we're rounding decimal places. So if I have the number 3.492 and I want to round this number to two significant figures, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the first two numbers that we have. So we've got one significant figure, two significant figures. But this one here, that nine, is our critical digit. And it's going to dictate what happens to our final significant figure. So we're going to have three stay the same, but because nine is bigger than five, four is going to turn into five. So it's going to get rounded up one. But if I have the number... 6.921 and again I want to take it to two significant figures so I've got one significant figure two significant figures now we look at our critical digit it's the number two we know that two is less than four so our significant figures aren't going to change they're going to stay at 6.9 if I have the number 12.31 and again, I want it to two significant figures. So I go, well, here's one significant figure. And look at this, that's a second significant figure. So we look at our critical digit. It's a three. It's not going to change anything. So our answer is just 12. But we can also count the number of significant figures in a specific number that we've been given. So if I have the number 342, Point nine seven, we can say that that has one, two, three, four, five significant figures. But if I have the number six hundred and twenty, we only have one, two significant figures. This red one here, that zero. That doesn't count as a significant figure because it's on the end. So we only have two significant figures. However, if I had the number 620.0, we have one, two, three, four significant figures, all because of that little decimal place. So that decimal place tells us that that zero at, after it is very important. So we have to include it. So we have four significant figures. So I'm going to write out a few numbers. And what I want you to do is tell me how many significant figures they have. And then write down the number rounded to two significant figures. So I'm going to write them down, then I want you to pause the video, have a go, and then we'll go through the answers. Alright, so this first one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six significant figures. If we're rounding it to two significant figures, we need to look at this third number that we have. So that 9 tells us what's going to happen to the 2. So we'll have 330 as our final answer. So see how we have one significant figure and two significant figures. And then we have this 0, which we know doesn't count towards our number of significant figures. So in our second question, we have 1, 2, three, four significant figures. So we're going to change that into two significant figures. We're going to look at this zero here. So that is a third number from the left. And that tells us that our final answer is going to be 9.1 because zero is less than four and therefore doesn't have an impact on the one. So this next one's a little bit trickier. We didn't really go through what happens if there are zeros at the start. But what happens is we pretend that they aren't there in terms of our significant figures. So with this one, we start here at the four. So we have one, 
to three significant figures. And then we're going to look at this one because it's our third significant figure. And that's going to tell us what happens to the two. Now, because it's a one, which is less than four, nothing's going to happen to our two. So our answer, we're going to put those zeros back at the start, is 0 0.0042. And now we're going to look at our last one. So we have one, two, three, four significant figures. And in order to figure out what's going to happen, we look at our third significant figure. So our third number from the left, and that's a five. So if we remember from our rounding, that five is a critical digit. And it's going to make our nine go up one. And the number above nine in our number line is ten. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a zero on the end. We're going to put our decimal place in. And then we're going to add one to that five, and it's going to become six. So we're going to end up with 6.0 as our final answer. And that is how we use our significant figures.